And some of you, you have like big dreams, but your energy is like a triple A battery. Your battery got to be able to push that dream. If you got a big old dream, but you got a small engine, you're not going to be able to push it. Many of you will not be successful because you've got this giant goal and no steps to go with it. Keep your dreams phenomenal. Keep your vision phenomenal. Keep it phenomenal. If it was easy, everybody would do it. I began to realize at the end of the day, as long as there's breath in my lungs, there's hope in our hearts, and giving up's not an option. You and I and we, no matter what your unique situation, your storm, your struggle, your trauma, your abuse, your wounds, your scars, no matter what they are, and I know we've all got them on some way, some way, somehow, some level, whatever they are, I promise you this, you are not a product of your past, you are not a product of your environment or your current unique situation, but you are always a product of how do we navigate through our storm. People look for the shortcut, the hack. And if you came here looking for that, you won't find it. The shortcut is a lie. The hack doesn't get you there. And if you want to take the easy road, it won't take you to where you want to be. Stronger, smarter, faster, healthier, better. Free. To reach goals and overcome obstacles and be the best version of you possible will not happen by itself. It will not happen cutting corners, taking shortcuts, or looking for the easy way. There is no easy way. There is only hard work, late nights, early mornings, practice, rehearsal, repetition, study, sweat, blood, toil, frustration, and discipline. Discipline. There must be discipline. Discipline, the root of all good qualities, the driver of daily execution. The core principle that overcomes laziness and lethargy and excuses. Discipline defeats the infinite excuses that say, not today, not now, I need a rest, I'll do it tomorrow. What's the hack? How do you become stronger, smarter, faster, healthier? How do you become better? How do you achieve true freedom? There is only one way way of discipline. I was allowing things that I couldn't control to control me. And I had to let some things go. And that's a challenge. Because for so long, that pain, that wound, it really became like a safety net for me. Because it was my go-to. It was my reason for all of my struggles. And if I let it go, then I had to begin to face some of my other hurts and my pain. And that's intimidating and it's scary. But the truth is, when we hold on to these things, it's not poisoning the people who did it to us. It's only holding you hostage. Purpose. And we all got a purpose. Every one of you in this room, you were born to leave your fingerprints on history. Every one of you in this room were born to not just exist, but to experience life. In this room, I promise you, if some of you will just begin to take ownership of your life, and some of you probably are already striving and doing phenomenal and making good choices, I want to say keep going, don't give up, keep pursuing it, because I promise you, every single one of you, every single one of you were meant to leave your fingerprints on history. I mean fingerprints on history. Where you can leave back and leave behind a legacy. Where you can leave behind impact where you can leave behind a difference every one of you are fully capable of leaving your fingerprints on history you got all the stuff you got you got it all but you will not outwork me because your height has nothing to do with my work ethic your face has nothing to do with my work ethic your two-parent background has nothing to do with my work ethic you will not outwork me